Welcome to Render Plus Software's quick demonstration series using iRender Next with SketchUp. I'm Tom Munson with Renewable Engineering and in this video we will show how to use the Sky and Ground Plane preview feature. The model I'm using is called PV House and it's available from the 3D warehouse. Right now, you can see that the SketchUp ground plane is a light brown color. Let's change that to a texture. First, we'll click on the Setup Options button in the iRender Next toolbar, and we'll choose Sky, and we'll click on the black plus sign to expand the window. We'll go to the ground plane section located at the bottom, Notice that the texture of the ground plane is shown in the area to the right, which is a light brown color of this current SketchUp ground plane. Next, we'll click on the Load button. In the window that opens, we'll select SketchUp. and We'll move down to the Landscaping, Fencing, and Vegetation category. We'll choose that category, and we'll choose Grass Dark Green. And next, click on the Set as Ground Plane Material button. Now the color in the right area has changed to a texture. Also notice that the SketchUp model's ground plane now shows a green color representing the average color of the grass texture. Next, we'll click on the Preview button. This preview will show your SketchUp model in front of your current sky and ground plane. In other words, it won't render the SketchUp model. Only the sky and the ground will be rendered. Make sure that the Show SketchUp Model Radio button is selected. Now we'll click Create Preview. I render Next will take two passes and then stop and show a dialog window. Click OK to close the dialog window and the Fit in Window button to show the image in full size. Now that we have previewed and seen how the rendered ground and sky look, we can go ahead and create a complete rendering of the model. So first we'll close the render window and the Setup Options window. Next, we'll click on the Render button in the iRender Next toolbar. And we'll click Start Rendering. Now, let's skip ahead to the finished rendering. Here is the completed rendering of the SketchUp model. So this concludes this quick demonstration on how to use the Sky and Ground Plane Preview feature. To learn more about this feature and other aspects of iRender Next, please visit the Render Plus Software's website and check out our other videos and tutorials. Thank you for watching.